Hello and welcome to D and D on Dino Cast, where some Dungeons and Dragons online players. Uh, thanks for joining us. We're gonna play some Fifth Edition D and D. We're using Virtual Tabletop Fancy Grounds Unity. You can visit fancygrounds.com or at fancygrounds2 on Twitter to learn more. Uh, this is Tomb of Annihilation, and I'm Patrick, your Dungeon Master and host this evening. Uh, thanks for joining us. If you're watching live, uh, we encourage you to uh, influence the game using channel points at twitch.tv slash studiocast. Uh, all right, and then we'll see. We'll meet the meet the players. Uh, we'll start with uh, Naldurai. Hello, I am Naldurai, and I am a Clockwork Soul Sorcerer. And Alexia? Hello, I'm Alexia. I am a Custom Lineage Artificer. Grub? Hello, everyone. I'm Grub, and I hit things, because I'm a barbarian. Uh, Fraggle? Uh, yo. I am a dwarf knowledge cleric. And Fahada. Hi, everybody. I'm a third level ranger. I'm an outlander human variant. And Bojax. Hey, everybody. I am one of the original two knowledge barbarians in the group. <laughs> alongside my buddy Grub. All right. So we take a short rest. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm good with that. Mm hmm. Wrong one. Short sure. rest. So you can spend uh, hit dice if you want to heal. Um, it's mm -hmm. so good. But to say, uh, during a long rest, you only get half your hit dice back, so... Correct. When you take a long rest, you get half of your expended hit dice back, not all of them. How, is it rounded down, rounded yeah. up? Rounded down. Unless it says otherwise, it's always rounded down. What do we roll for that for hit point recovery? Uh, On the main page at the bottom. Yeah. Where it's just, oh, the just right double click it. it. Hit dice. Okay. okay. Right. And now we're gonna play play with the new jug. <laughs> uh, what, so we have NPCs, a... what do the NPCs think of this particular jug that we have acquired? Um, I mean it's handy, I guess. None of them are familiar with it. Seen no. anything like it? We had okay. an alchemy jug at the beginning. That's what what oh. Alexia made. Okay. Yeah, she just before she made the portable hole or the yeah. yeah. The bag of holding was more useful for us, so yeah. that's what okay. we are using. But the alchemy jug is another thing that she can make. Okay. I mean, they've River and Flask in particular have, found, have occasionally found like really impressive magic items, and this is um seems like you went to a lot of trouble to get this alchemy jug. <laughs> Yes, we did. <laughs> we like mayonnaise. Yes. I believe it was a... the other group that we, we determined that uh, the mayonnaise is the most high calorie part of the... Yes. <laughs> that was this group. Yes. Was it this group? Okay. Yes. I don't even remember which group anymore. And that's something that's not actually common. I don't even know if they have it. Actually, can it make oil, if I remember right? That might be higher than mayonnaise. Maybe. It's in the party sheet. Oh, okay. Uh, it can make one quart of oil. Can it make but beer? But two gallons of it. Yeah, it makes four gallons of beer a day. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm going to point out, we can't use it for water... Yeah, if we what? are having issues refilling our uh, water. <laughs> Beer is mostly water. <laughs> okay, Paps is mostly water. Good yeah. beer is not. It's still mostly water. Sure. Now I'm wishing I had a beer in my hand. What? I don't, don't have to walk very far to 
change that scenario. Uh, that scenario might get changed shortly. All right. Oh, my God. But you can make a gazillion dollars with this thing. <laughs> it makes a gallon of honey a day. I mean, yeah, it does. Okay, uh, so you've met Artist Simber. Uh, you've reconnected with him and Dragon Bait. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Let's see. Is it going to tell me? <laughs> Where's his key? Um, so when you show him the... Uh, the jug, uh, you, uh, Dragon Bait gives off a scent of brimstone, followed by tar. And I don't remember what all his scents meant. Uh, artist tells Dragon you that was brimstone. Yeah, artist it tells you confusion. brimstone was confusion, uh, or that he's confused. But uh, the tar scent smell gives uh, an indication that he's happy for you. Celebrating your victory. Uh, Lemony was happy last time. This is right, but this is victory, not happy. Different, different scent. Thank you. I just wanted to make my notes correct. All right, so you still have half a day, or probably most of the day, enough that you can uh, travel if you would like. So where is Artist going to take us? Um, Artist doesn't have a like specific place that he's going. He's just trying to help you. He's joining your quest to destroy the Soulmonger. Okay, good. Or He's looking for ways to aid you in this endeavor. We could use all the help we can get. <clears throat> I mean, Wasn't he looking for the ruins of some ancient city? Mm, let me check. Mesro, I think. No, not that one. It's one that's not on the map. I'll have to double check uh, what he's doing. If I if I remember right, he said that he was going to hold, put his stuff on hold and then help us with our quest first. No, he's trying to fight. He's trying to find Orolung, Orolunga. So he's just following us around for now, though. Uh, well, he is. Um... He's he... he has been looking for Orolunga. Uh... But he is kind of putting that aside so that he can help you. But it sounds like if you run across Oralonga while we're on our mission, then that would be fine for him too. Right. Oh, do we want to take care of Annette's quest first? I think that makes sense. Yep. He's been very patient with us so far. You do have a uh, a list of quests. Uh, as well, and if you open the quest tab, yep. Yes, but we have so. Annette here with us. Yeah, no, I'm just so. remind me. Uh, can you mark the artist Simber one as completed? Because it is the find artist Simber. Uh, sure. Okay, it's marked as completed. Thank you. Um, did I? Did he tell? Did artist tell you about what he was? He said he he was going to Orolunga. He seemed to know that. Part. Yeah, he told us he was going. We just didn't remember the name of it. Yeah. Uh, uh he doesn't know where it is, though, does he? No. He's looking for it. Correct. I mean, uh, he's 
there so there he knows that there's uh an ancient guardian naga uh Saja Nimbaza uh at Orlung uh and he believes that the guardian can uh can aid him in his quest. Yes. It, there's an it's an ancient city with a huge ziggurat. So we can't miss it, right? Maybe. Are we on day 44? That's what I have. All right, so you're going to go down the river? Towards the Aldani Basin? Yes. Okay. Fahara, I'll take... Uh... Survival check with advantage, please. Okay. No twos. <laughs> no promises. Did that go through? Yep. Um, let's see. Nope, that's not the one I wanted to hit. Ignore that while it rolls. That's what I wanted to hit. All right, the day passes by uneventfully. Yay. We're going upriver. Uh, in a strict sense, yes. It is not exactly a um. Fat. It's not a fast-moving river or anything. Like you're paddling up paddling but yeah. like you'd be paddling either direction basically okay uh fahada i'll take another uh check okay is it still day 44 or day 45 now? this is 45 Oh, you said with advantage? Uh, yes, although... There we go. Yeah, there you go. All right, so you pass by Camp Vengeance. I'm assuming you're not going to stop there for the night. No. <laughs> not going to stop. I just figured I would check. <laughs> and we no, we read the their approval. Yelp review. Yeah, <laughs> and we gave them the appropriate time for consideration, which is zero. Okay, uh, so that day passes by uneventfully. To be day forty-six, and uh, this time Fahada uh, survival, but with no advantage. No advantage. Okay. No advantage. Oh boy. Oops. Missed that little guy. Oh, I only drew one. <laughs> okay. All right, so the river opens up into a marshy uh, basin. Um, you do notice that uh, the um, insects are much more numerous here. Uh, and this is uh, clearly, like, you see no uh, dinosaurs feeding in here as well. Like the plant eaters, specifically. 
So on day 46, we made it, or was it day 47? What? This is 46. Okay. I mean, the basin is, is a large area. It's not like a... Yeah, but I'm trying to keep track of what day it is and when we got right. there. How uh, much uh, exploring do we need to do for her? Uh, hang on a sec. I'll answer that in a second. Uh, so there are tall plateaus uh, and walls of dense foliage uh, kind of enclosing the marsh. So you're... The edges of the marsh are... Um, the marsh is, is below the, the surrounding area. The land that time forgot. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, as far as your question, Jax, let me... Uh, so, Inete has had disturbing visions of red-robed wizards operating a secret base somewhere in Altani Basin. Uh, so, she is looking for them. All right. Uh, so, that'll be that day. Uh, Are we able to discern any, like, cooking fires, smoke from said, not in any moment. direction? Okay. Nope, just a giant marsh, as far as you can see at the moment. Okay. Oh, Do is. her visions say where they might be in the basin? The basin. She's not a lot of help. Mm. Well, visions are not always helpful. <laughs> well, are we still able to travel by boat here? Yes. I guess we should just start moving yep. into unexplored ter territory. Uh, which direction do you want to go? Bada? Um, I'm picking? Oh, boy. You're the one who's going to roll to see if we get there, so. No. What's this J over here again? It's a possible location of a lost wizard and his yeah. shield. We're guardian. way south of that. Yeah. Way south of that. Days away. Five days overland. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know where we're supposed to be going currently, so into this basin you're exploring she needs she's looking to explore the basin yep basically okay. south we're right now south move, of camp Vengeance. i'm gonna move i'm gonna move closer towards the basin then you're in the basin it's massive yeah. me do oh, south east or west southeast okay It doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so I put Fahada on the map, and you can move yourself in the direction that you want to move. Uh, yeah, it should work. Looking at the wrong map. You're double clicking your token in the top right corner of your character sheet. Maybe that's my issue. Let me try this again. Ha ha! It's the one with the masking on it. I, I switched maps because this one has the... Um... You can uncover it yeah. so I was see it. Yeah. I was looking at the pin you are here thing. Okay, I'm going to yeah. go this way. Can you okay. reshare that map, Patrick? I forgot to drag it onto a bar. It is available right. if you go to images and then change to uncategorized. And is the player's shult complete? Uh, Fahada, if you would give me a survival check, please. With or without advantage? Without. Okay. 
with advantages if we've already been there, so you have some idea of where you're going. Right. May not be a lot, but you have at least some idea. And okay. And you can go one more square. All righty. Uh, do, 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 do. In the distance, uh, did I roll weather yet? I thought I did. No. Did not. Okay, let me roll weather real quick. You did it for 44. Ooh, baby. Or 45. Yeah. Uh, all right, so it's pretty rainy. Uh, do, 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 do. uh, and through the mists, you see some reed huts, not super far away, like maybe a football field in length away. Do we see anything moving around the huts? Not from where you you can barely see huts. It's so. How many can we see at this point? Uh, give me a perception check. Anyone can do the perception check if they want to. Oh, I'll do it. Uh, well, I'll just take Jax's because that's pretty impressive. Uh, <laughs> 23, crying out loud. Uh, you're pretty sure you see three. Okay. And you see hints of movement. It's, it's really hard to, to see, stay, though. Are we able to stay fairly concealed in the, uh, terrain? What terrain? <laughs> well, it's aren't rare. there, like, reeds and... And marshy grass. Yeah, I mean, if you're in a boat, not really. Okay. If you're, like, walking in the water, which maybe it's not too deep that you could do that, then you could hide. Let's but see how deep the water is by pushing an oar down. Um, okay. Hmm. This particular uh, spot, it's uh, about six feet deep. We're not walking. <laughs> should we uh, quietly, I ask, if we should uh, approach this cluster of huts? Well, isn't this her quest? Is there something specific that she was looking for? Or? Red wizard, red, red road, road wizards. wizards. Okay. But we have determined is most likely red wizards of they. Have you? I think somebody had a high enough check to oh, determine okay. that that is likely. Yeah. Probably. For, it's probably the barbarian. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I think we need to move closer until we can see what's moving. Yep. Agreed. Okay. Uh, oh, it does. The hooping crane. <laughs> In huts. Uh huh. In huts. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, guide. Hey, Fraggle, do you know anything about these? I'm gonna ask our guides. Hey, do you know anything about these? Uh, hmm, interesting question. Yes, they are birds. You also have a they have a book. We do. 
what book do we have? We have the book that uh, Fraggle has been writing. Do you have the no, Volo's we, Guide? We, have, we, have we didn't guide. buy it. Yeah, you yes, did. Oh, yes, we, we bought did. it the second time. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's in the bag of holding or whatever, right? Yeah, I've been reading it periodically. Are you... Uh, so, River and uh, and Flask can tell you that uh, they're Eblis, uh, which are thought to be uh, or they're, they're intelligent cranes. Okay. Um, but are they good cranes or are they bad cranes? You can make uh, history checks, or you could also consult the book. I can consult the book. I'll make a history check. <laughs> I don't trust Volo. Twenty. Um, from consulting the book, uh, <laughs> they are intelligent uh, and evil. Oh, well, Fraga would also know this uh, from his check. Uh, they are typically evil. Um, not necessarily in like a. They're not like undead evil, but they're not neutral or good either, right? They're self-serving. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so Full, they're, they're not nice. Right, not nice. How uh, many do we see? They are, uh, you currently see two. Uh, they use tools uh, from their beaks, using their beaks and their feet. Uh, Volo's book uh, uh, also will tell you that uh, they uh, like to collect treasure. Uh, Fraggle touchdown Seahawks. <laughs> is this is this the bird that I talked to? No. Is he part of, is he no. That was, was an, that axe. Was an axe bill. That was a young okay. axe beak. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Fraggle uh, could tell you that uh, they have a tendency uh, to try to manipulate other creatures and have plots that are self-serving. They collect treasure. Yep. The chaotic greedy in me <laughs> wants to make my way towards the birds. <laughs> yeah. I'm going with him. Let's go. We're going. Can How far away are they now? Friendly? Um, they're not going to try to take their stuff. <laughs> I mean, they're not particularly far away. I mean, how close do you want to get? Until I can get out of this boat and bash skulls. Uh, well, before you get that close, uh, one of them will speak to you in common and ask you what th you're doing in their swamp. We are looking for... It's our red. swamp now. <laughs> We're here to I'm assuming kick... that I was interrupted, so... Kick butt. We're here to kick butt and chew bubblegum, and we're fresh out of bubblegum. <sighs> okay. No, no, no. We're here to kill undead. And to find red wizard. The red robed wizards. Yeah. Um, oh, we should. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Uh, so they kind of. Once Scrubby said. Wait, was it Grubby? Yeah, Grubby says uh, our swamp. Uh, they start talking in a, another language. Let's see if anyone knows how to speak this language. I know nope. a whole bunch of languages, but nope. probably not. <laughs> uh, they start to, to talk rapidly uh, in their language. Can we jump in? It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. We didn't mean we're like kicking you out we're here to be friends we just need information uh i think they're ignoring us at this point 
the one turn turns back and says, "What information do you seek?" Information about red wizards. Information about some curse affecting the world. What you have to trade? <laughs> Would you like four gallons of beer? Uh, it spits into the water. A gallon of honey? What you have that's shiny? My axe. <laughs> Actually, it's a sword, but yeah. Well, let me move around, get closer while I distract them. We've been moving closer this whole time. Are you continuing to move closer? Yep. Roll initiative. Oh, boy. Got to get to the main page. How close were we before the initiative started? Mm. Probably... 50 feet. Okay. Mm, what do I have for... Well, that's not very helpful. Also not very helpful. Oh, that's because I'm on the wrong spot. There it is. Ambient lights. Why isn't it letting me make the boat? There we go. Bigger boats. All right. Uh, who's in the lead boat? I am. Uh, I guess I would be too if I'm helping us figure out where to go. I'm just going to start randomly assigning other people to boats. Ooh, I wonder if we can have a boat that's big enough at this point. <laughs> I think there was 11 people if we include us and... I uh, know. That will be 13. Did he have his own boat? Yeah, how did he Artist? get here? Uh, I think I got everyone in a boat. <laughs> you are 12 people. Congratulations, you fit in two boats. Nice. <laughs> Good. Um, let's see.
Well, that H is getting bigger. Oh, that's a hut. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to represent huts in some capacity. Oh, they're Fair probably... enough. It's probably bigger than the larger of the Eblis. Uh, you'll find out momentarily. Okay. Because they look like they're going to be at least large size if those are their huts. I mean, that's not that big of it's a uh, twenty foot, four hundred what... square feet hut. <laughs> well, I guess that's... they could be kind of big for a hut, but yeah. See? Large. Yeah. But they're birds. Their huts are constructed vertically. Wait, so they're making their own huts? Mm -hmm. I mean, do they have yes. opposable thumbs they, or something? They or can what? speak. Yeah, but do they... Okay. Birds construct amazing nests. Yeah. Well, nests, but... Yes, but, but you're what? <laughs> yeah, which are very similar to huts. Huts an upside down nest. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's Dine's turn. Um, are you going full out? Uh, seems like half the party's going like full out offensive, and half the party's doing other things. Actually, you guys are too close. We were wanting to talk, but uh, that isn't happening we're now. We're wanting to. That's talk. when I want stuff. Yeah, I wanted knowledge from the things that live here about the things we were looking for before anything like combat started. But you know, that was just me. We went, but we had barbarians in the party, and they got greedy. Yeah, yeah. We neutral evil birds that collect stuff is a good source of stuff. You guys got your chance to play around the stairs and get the magic jug. <laughs> now we're gonna bust some skulls. <laughs> Now you're going to get your head pecked. <laughs> that could oh, very oh. well happen. <laughs> yeah. So all of the uh, the ground here is... Um... Oh, I should have... It's swamp water? Yeah, it I don't... It, it's all... Let me put those two guys together. Uh, you can... The boat can move uh, in this. Um... Do, do, do. Is gonna move. It uh, is Jax's turn. Okay. Um. Oops. Watching what you're doing. Oh, you're. I'm just, just moving them in boats. Putting okay. the. I moved the boat a little further back because it was a little too close. Okay. Um. I'm gonna direct folks to. It is very. Boat windy and very rainy okay um get people to row that boat as fast and as hard as you can to the farthest west hut until we hit something solid and then we'll hop out and do the business all right so you're gonna wait for the boat to move i, I would know. assume that Jax and i are doing most of the rowing <laughs> yeah. Yeah, since the only ones that are we saw the rest of them strength. Yeah. Wait, yeah, <laughs> strength right. modifier. All right, yeah. so Jax, uh how far are you gonna or you wanna move the boat then? How far can the boat move? Fair question. We'll say twenty feet. Okay, twenty feet uh southwest. Can we dash? No. No. Saying, you got ranged <laughs> weapons, prep them. I am a ranged weapon. Yep. <laughs> I'll get you, I'll get us close. And We're already closer than I wanted to be, but. Nope. Going to be up close and personal. We'll be at Bojax's uh, preferred range. There you go. During that 20-foot move, I don't feel the boat coming aground or anything? No. Okay.
Oh boy, that's a lot of poor wisdom saving throws. Uh, all right. So let's see. Wisdom saving throws. Uh, Naldry got a twenty. Uh, Dine got a three. Jax, you have a nine. I'm telling you this in case you want to use inspiration to add a d6. Uh, Jax got a nine. Fraggle's a 14. Fajada's an eight. Grub's a five. What's doing... happening to us? You're being forced to make a wisdom saving throw. Right. Do we know why? Because it might determine if I want to use inspiration or not. The bird is casting a spell. Oh. I'll use inspiration. What do I need to do? Roll a d6. Just roll a d6. Yep. Okay. Anybody else? Not, not me with the five. Play. It's not going to make any difference. <laughs> All right. Uh, a twisting pattern of colors that weaves through the air uh, appears for a moment and vanishes. Uh, those who failed the save, which is Grub, Artisimber, Dine, and Fahada, uh, you are charmed. Uh, you are incapacitated and have a speed of zero. Level. So much for that boat. <laughs> uh, which do we know which birdie casted that spell? Twenty eight. Wanda has the green arrow. Yep. Fraggle, it's your turn. Okay. I am going to. Guiding bolt that bird. Okay. Um, boop, 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 boop. Hang on a quick sec. I need to double check something. Where is that? Do, 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 do. Doesn't say if it hits or misses, but I'm assuming 18 hits. Uh, yeah, I need to double check something about the weather. Because I believe. Uh, weather. I remember seeing this. I just gotta remember what. The rules were where was that? All right, I'm just gonna go with what I think it is because I'm not gonna spend time looking up. Uh, I need you to make this attack at disadvantage. Disadvantage. Yep. Why? Because I use my reaction to negate that. It's windy and rainy, and it's hard to see. Gotcha. Okay, um. Well. I, Here's my second roll. Uh, I guess ten. Fire. The answer to that question is what's you, what your thing does. It is any. Uh, my connection with the plane of absolute order allows me to equalize chaotic moments. When a creature you can see within sixty feet of you is about to, a, to roll a d twenty sure. with advantage or disadvantage, you can use a reaction to prevent the roll from being affected by advantage or disadvantage. So the answer is no, because you haven't gone yet, so I don't believe you're allowed to use your reactions. Okay. Uh, but otherwise, yes, you would be allowed to use it. Uh, your Guiding Bolt misses. I could use Inspiration to add a d6? Yes, you can. 14. Uh, that will hit. Excellent. Bam. He succeeds on a saving throw. Oh, concentration that check. Was not 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I put the effect on him, so yep. he will I have see that. disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Can I use like a bonus action to punch someone next to me? Hey. Try to try to wake him up. Kick uh, him or something. You would need to use an action to do that. Okay. So no, I am done. Um, boop, 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 boop. Elvis, uh, twenties, uh, becomes very blurry. And then flies into the air. Let's see. One, two. Uh, Fahada. Charmed, right? Yes, you are. Do I roll are. save or something? Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. No. It doesn't give you a save on your turn. I'm done. What? Seriously? Holy crap, what spell was that? Uh, There's no extra save. On a failed save, the creature becomes charmed for the duration. While charmed by this spell, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. The spell ends if... It takes any damage or if someone else uses an action to shake the creature out of its stupor. Uh, Flask will use its action, its action to shake Grub out of his stupor. Thank you. Now they're right. Are we still able to see Eblis 20? And if so, how far away is he? Or it? Uh, yes. Should you how still have away? aid? Uh, I've been casting it using a extended spell every night okay. with a level 2 spell slot. Great. Uh, well, do you have other questions about 20? Uh, how far away from us is it? Uh, it's 30 feet higher. Okay, so it's still within the 90 foot range for Probably. Tasha's mind whip. Uh, if it's a, is this a save or an attack? Save. Okay. And. That one. Because I'm twinning it. Uh, well, that's rude. Uh, it fails it twice. They both fail? Yeah. Can you twin that one? I guess it's yep. a single target, huh? Yep. Or it doesn't... Twinning isn't... Uh... Twinning is you can make a single target... Yeah, no, I know what it does. I'm just wondering for if it has the cost a, uh... is equal to the number... Uh, the uh, spell level. The spell yeah. slot. Where is... Where do we stick it? <laughs> and I'm going to be... Uh, re-rolling, though. If you're going to look at re-rolling... Um, uh, wait, let wait. me see if I can. I think I can, though. Which one did you attack? I thought you were shooting at 20. I hit both, because I twinned. Oh. Got it. Now I understand a little more what you're doing. Let me double-check with meta, because I think that I can also empower... Yeah, empower is stackable with others. Yep. Okay. So untarget if, both. If you're so gonna look at rerolling, it's actually helpful if you just put it in the chat first. Yeah. And then. I forgot. Uh, yeah. I'm right. gonna reroll the two ones, so the five is staying the same. Okay. So you do eight more damage to which yes. one? Uh, I guess both of them. Yeah. Okay. And I don't see an effect where I can give them the Tasha's Mind Whip. But it's on their turn, they only get an action a, or a bonus action or a move action. Does not get all, it only does one of the three. Right. 
OK， 好、okay. well, far away is this? Like it, Then I replace your mind whip with one that has that effect. Thank you. Okay, so I am going to, I guess, shoot Eblis 28. Okay, that will be with disadvantage. Why will it be with disadvantage? Because it's rainy because and windy. But in that case, if it's going to be disadvantage... Um, yeah, actually, I, if you... I'm not too happy about this whole thing to begin with, because um, I think it's kind of silly that we were trying to attack these things. Um, I'm just going to hold off and pass my turn. Okay. Oh, oh, was there somebody next to me that's 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 um, dying? Dying. Okay, I wake up dying. Okay. Uh, everyone's already woken up. The spell ended. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't hear you say that. Uh, he failed his concentration saving throw when he got smacked by. I, I want to move the boat 20 feet closer to... I'm going to say number 20, just because I think 28 is going to be down before I could get there. So, to there? Okay. Oh, that's fun. Uh, Dragon Bait will pull out his sword, uh, which will give. Uh, boop, 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 there's a way to have this programmed. Uh, yeah, I'm Oratosh. Um, so it gives everyone in his boat uh, advantage on magical effects. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Actually, where is number 20? Because you said he moved. It's up in the air. He went up more than anything else. Straight up? Pretty much. Uh, he went towards you a little bit, but up. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, I guess Dine will attack one of the birdies. Yeah, number 28. It's the range. Doesn't say. Uh, boop, 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 60 feet. There we go. So Dino hit that one. Let's first attack. And he also hits with the second attack. And kills the bird. Jax. Did we lose Jax? Twenty, yeah, twenty feet farther south with the boat towards uh, what the heck, number twenty. Yep. Right. Just keep in mind that he's in the air. Yep. If 
Fraggle? Okay. Um, everyone's awake. I will just... Uh, guiding bolt that, uh, that bird. Okay. Why not? Do I still have disadvantage? Yes. Hits. Okay. Uh, you shoot him. His blurriness goes away. Excellent. And next person attacks him has advantage. Okay. And done. Uh, he flies 50 feet away. Bahada. Okay, I'm awake now, right? Uh huh. Okay, so now I'm awake. Which one looks the scariest? Uh, not the dead one. Just the yeah, one. Not okay. the dead one. <laughs> Which one is it? Because I don't see numbers on them. Uh, he flew away. I mean, I guess you could sort of still see him. Oh, I was seeing the H for the huts. I couldn't see <laughs> the dude. Okay. Uh, well, I guess there isn't much for me to do then if he's flown away. Shoot him! Well, why am I going to shoot him if he's flying, flying away? He's trying to get away. He's also evil and casts spells and on And they us. cast spells, which... <laughs> I mean... You were, atta we you were in an attack first. formation. <laughs> we, we did start this, yes. We, we, and they, he's an yeah. animal. Yeah, let him go then. I mean, yeah, you know, he learned his lesson. Yeah, I'm not going to attack him. Okay. That's it. I'm not going to attack him. Fire? I don't trust it not to try to get revenge, so I will attack it. Okay. <laughs> Why is it not going up to targeting? Okay, there we go. I have disadvantage on this, right? Yep. If it's an okay. if it's an attack roll. It's an attack. Why did it not give me disadvantage? Mm -hmm. Oh, it has it. It has advantage on it. Uh, it's oh, granting so advantage because of okay. guiding bolt. Okay. Then did a sixteen hit? Yes. Okay, you do four damage. Hey. Okay. Tosh. And I see the one that that it's still at, it's still far enough away that we have disadvantage. You just have disadvantage on range attacks because of the sure. weather. Okay. And how is everybody? Else? Everybody else is okay, right? I mean, they're just yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just I'm just gonna sit pat because I don't feel good about about killing these guys. I really don't. Okay. The birds evil or are they? Oh, yes, they're, they're evil. evil. Oh, I'm okay, sorry. Like I have not been well today. I'm so sorry. You're fine. In that case, I don't care about the disadvantage. I'm gonna try to shoot the thing anyway. Okay. Uh, roll it again. But I forgot to put this. That's okay. Mind. Sorry. Ten. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Completely okay. miss. Yep. Your your shot is okay. so errant. If it was Aaron Rodgers in the red zone, it would have been intercepted. Whoa. <laughs> oh, burn. <laughs> uh, another bird. Uh comes flying out of the other hut and uh, seeing what's going on flies away. Crub? Is that solid ground in front of us? 
Or the- uh, you should not consider anything to be definitively solid ground. Well, it's supporting a hut, so I was not sure. The huts are on stilts. All right, I will move us forward towards the hut then. Uh, Dine is going to let them go because they're out of his range. Jax, you're just going to move the boat. Take that as a yes. Yeah, we can we can get to that hut straight in front of us. Yep. Uh, Fraggle. You still have a bird? There's one bird that you can see. The other one flew away. Uh, they're leaving. I'm just, I'll, I'll just uh, hold the dead on him. Okay. He's wounded, so... And here, I'm going to click on the button to make him make his save. Did you target yourself? Oh, shit. He, <laughs> see, he succeeds. He succeeds. Okay. He, so succeeds. he takes no damage. Yep. And then he flies away. Yep. Well, is that the last one? Yep. That we're aware of. Two of them flew well, away. I'm going to jump out of this boat and into this hut. <laughs> okay. uh, while you're doing that, uh, I'm going to wrap us up for the night because we're over time. Uh, so thanks for watching D&D uh, &D on D&D &D Night. Uh, if you'd like to find more of our adventures, you can find them at dodocast.com or on the Dodocast YouTube and Twitch channels. We've been using Fancy Grounds Unity. You can get started with your virtual tabletop gaming experience today at fancygrounds.com or at fancygrounds2 on Twitter. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at DOCast for at least as long as Twitter remains viable? Question mark? Uh, <laughs> you can also check out DOCast.com for our weekly DDO news and discussion show. Uh, Weekly-ish. And uh, more tabletop and gaming adventures. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Have a good weekend. <laughs>